This will change Halo forever. Now, what is it that I'm referring to here? Well, in the last few days, 343 Industries leadership has went through drastic changes, seeing the likes of Bonnie Ross leaving due to family medical issues. Now, this paves the way for new leadership to step in, of course, and take the Halo franchise forward. Now, as I mentioned in my previous news video, there's nothing worse than having to leave a job that you love due to unforeseen circumstances. Now, Bonnie Ross and the community haven't always met eye to eye in the last decade of her being the head of 343 after Bungie, of course, had left and 343 had taken over the Halo franchise. But with her now departing 343, we now count on this new leadership to essentially get us out of the mess of the room right now. So let's dive into this new leadership, who they are, what they do, and yeah, go from there. Bonnie Ross gets a lot of stick, and I'm in no way defending the way this franchise has been managed since Bungie left, by the way, because I'm in agreement with a lot of the people which are voicing their concerns around the way this franchise has been managed since the departure of Bungie. But she has done a lot of good for the franchise as well, such as launch the Master Chief Collection, which didn't launch very well, but she did launch that. No other game, as far as I'm aware, has a game similar to that. And with all of the games running on different engines and obviously having the graphics go from legacy to modern, they did a really good job with the Master Chief Collection, despite all of the other issues around it, which, again, we can discuss the Master Chief Collection for literally an entire video. But obviously, that's a good thing they've had. They've had the Halo TV series, which is very, very controversial. Um, it has been also scrapped about 10 times leading up to the final release of the TV show, which wasn't very good. Um, <laughs> it's up to you guys and your decision on whether you think Bonnie Ross has done a good job as the, Halo, the head of 343 and taking the franchise to where it is right now. She has done a lot of good for the franchise in terms of the Master Chief Collection and the actual format of it and releasing that. Also, the Halo TV series as well, which in idea is really good. The likes of Halo Wars 2 and that story and the cutscenes and Blur being involved in doing those cutscenes. It was just all really, really good. But the execution of a lot of those things have just not been to par. On paper, it was good. But the execution was very, very worrying. <laughs> However, it isn't just the gaming side that Bonnie was responsible for. It is everything else also. So the marketing, being the general manager of the franchise, the business and operational side of the franchise, and pretty much just overseeing everything, making the difficult decisions, having the final say, that was all Bonnie Ross. That can be a lot for one single person to take on board and do an exceptional job of every single element. Now, I'm not out here defending anyone. I'm not taking sides about this. I'm just obviously letting you guys know as to how difficult this t job can be for one single person. And it can lead to the likes of making rash or even the wrong decisions at times. And I think the community have definitely seen and noticed that over the last decade of 343 being in charge. Decisions that haven't at times always made sense or have been ones where they just have rushed things. And in Halo Infinite's case... Look at where we are now. However, this new approach that Microsoft are now taking really probably should have been done years ago. There was so much going on with Bonnie Ross's role that potentially not enough focus could have possibly been put on one element in particular. All of it was spread out everywhere. Pretty much Bonnie had to be three or four different people to go to different areas and go to different meetings and do these different things about different areas of the business and the organization. And yeah, it can be a lot. And with Microsoft now appointing not one, not two, but three new 343 leads and people that are basically running this company, this will allow these three people just to focus on their area in particular and having the likes of Phil Spencer as being the person that is on top. So all of them are the same level, they feed into Phil and then they will have direct communication with Microsoft or Xbox from that point rather than everything going to Bonnie and then everything going from Bonnie to Phil or to Xbox. So who are the new leads at 343? So going from left to right, we have the new studio head, which is Pierre Hintz. The general manager of the franchise is Brian Kosky. And the business and operations lead is Elizabeth Van Wick. Now, this is, as I mentioned, what should have been done a long, long time ago. That was a lot of work for one person to do, especially for the size of Halo and the franchise that it is. If this was a smaller indie game or a game that doesn't have like books, have TV shows, have all of these different uh, toys and collections and things like that, different games, all this lore stuff. If there was a franchise a lot smaller without that stuff, it's definitely doable. But with a franchise like Halo that's got so many different avenues that it explores, it's so difficult to be able to nail every single one of them 
with one person. There's only so much time in a day. Adding to this as well, Pierre Hintz was the mind behind essentially reviving the Master Chief Collection. The Master Chief Collection, as I said, was under Bonnie's watch. It was released and it was something that we could never have dreamed of something like that. To be able to play all of the games on the Xbox One and obviously going forward and just having access to them there in 4K or a high resolution and playing through them again. It was so, so good. Now, there are a lot of things that are wrong with the Master Chief Collection and it did take them three years to even acknowledge and fix anything within that game so again that was a really poor bit of management on behalf of 343 with the Master Chief Collection but when Pierre came in and was dedicated to reviving the Master Chief Collection look at where it is right now he's done a really really good job of doing that and I think just having one dedicated resource looking at one area or element of a franchise or even just generally a project or working you get a much better outcome and Pierre did a smashing job with uh, the Master Chief Collection and I'm really excited to see what he's doing now with Halo Infinite. He is now the mind behind Halo Infinite. He's going to take this game to the next level and I really hope that he can and I hope that Pierre nails it. Pierre, give us campaign DLC and a sick PvE mode and the community will be on your side forever. <laughs> but that's going to do it for today guys. Just a short-ish video really just detailing this, going into a bit more detail around it. Really just saying why Bonnie's job was probably so difficult. But again, I've got no sympathy just for the fact that if it was so difficult, then someone should have spoke out and said that it is. And then they should have addressed it and maybe added some more people on Bonnie's level to help out and look at different avenues and different things rather than having just one person struggle for that long you know so look if it was an issue and that they they knew or thought it was an issue it would have been addressed earlier however it doesn't always happen if for example the one person that is all of this information is going to is very stubborn and is essentially just saying that it doesn't you know I, i'm okay i can handle all of this and that's absolutely fine if they believe they can but sometimes when that does happen and people are struggling to look at different avenues and do different things then of course the end product does suffer and i think we have seen that with halo infinite and of course the master chief collection and even the last couple of halo 5 and last couple of games really that have been released um so i'm hoping this is a new direction for halo i'm hoping that we get something um much better in terms of an end product i hope the content that they can reach seasonality and essentially just start fresh with season three so that would be yeah the uh the end goal that we're all hoping for but anyway hope you've enjoyed today's video guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below leave us a uh, rating on the video if you have enjoyed subscribe if you're brand new and we'll see you all in the next one